As we approach the 20-year anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks, many New Yorkers can recall exactly where they were when the Twin Towers fell. But who can recall where they were the day before? Well, FDNY retiree Jerry Sanford can. News 12's Faith Graham has more on his incredible story. Jerry Sanford worked for the FDNY for 29 years. Then he moved to Naples, Florida in 2000, where he landed a job at another firehouse. While there, he made a shocking discovery. There's this old helmet, black leather helmet from 1914, and it's sitting up on the wall. I said, how'd you get that? The helmet belonging to Ladder 42, more than 1,000 miles away in the Bronx. Hoping to return it home, Sanford planned a ceremony. And we wind up here the morning of September 10th, full of firemen, you know, they're here to rededicate. 24 hours later, the September 11th terrorist attacks. Many of the firemen at that ceremony losing their lives. Sanford, unable to sit idly by, rejoined the department, handling the press. A lot of the major stories that we all saw, I was in the background getting, setting up. Sanford volunteered through the end of October 2001. His experiences now compiled into a book. The title, It Started With The Helmet. It's through this book that Sanford hopes to educate Americans, mainly the younger generations, about what happened on 9-11, saying that day can never be forgotten, despite how much time has passed. Most children don't know. They don't know what happened back then. So this book, uh, we have been hearing from them, and we have been mailing copies of the book to schools all throughout the United States. As he looks at the helmet 20 years later, he says it is certainly a tale of fate. It took me to that firehouse to find that helmet that came from here. I mean, that's not, I mean, that's a very, it's a very unusual story. To get your hands on a copy of Sanford's book and to learn more about his experience, head to news12.com. In Melrose, Faith Graham, News 12.